Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode from the Lemon King, and this time we are back on one of my servers I made, and this is my Ender Golf server. I've heard a few people say they want me to play through them, and I will. I only have three golf courses, but I'm going to play through them anyway, just to give it a shot. Now, I'm sorry if this video ends up laggy. I'll apologize now. My parents are moving furniture upstairs and they unplugged the router so I have no internet access going into this. And also I have it on 16 chunks, maximum amount of chunks loaded just so I can get a view at all of them. But yeah, this is the first level. This is Skyfall and Rigolf and these are the rules. If you want me to download this map, give me uh, ideas how I should do that. And I can uh, tell me how you want me to download it and I'll go download it somewhere. In Minecraft maps or something. Now that one you guys can play. I only have three maps. Three courses right now. Um, this course has a difficulty of... 4 out of 5. This has mountains and there might be snow on it. This is where you go. Um, the coordinates for TP are look like that. And yeah. I'm just going to take this because that's all I need. I've got an armor on falling boots. So let's go out here to the first team. I'm just going to play from white. There is red, white, blue, and black. Blue and black are up here. But I'm actually not that good at it. These are really hard tees. But, uh, yep. The main central spawn where you'll spawn at first is all the way out there. It's the central hub. But um, I'm not completely done with these courses. I still have to do like improvements, like put more trees, more shrubs, and everything around. But this is how I like it right now. Okay, this is a par four, so I'll go through them. I'm not gonna keep my score. If you guys want to keep my score, you can. But I'm just going to go through them now. So the first starts out like this. I also have a book in every chest that gives you a guide to what the hole looks like. So you start out here, go straight out. Nothing special, but it is a long hole. It's par four. It's a long hole. So you go over this mountain, and then you'll end up on a hill. Right here, you'll end up. So you came from over there, and the hole is right there. Now that's where the hole is, but you cannot see it yet because it's flat ground. And there's the hole. It will be a two by two block. There will be sand. This is the flat sand bunkers I built. Some of them are a lot deeper. But I forgot to say, this episode will be the first nine holes of Skyfall Ender Golf, is what the name is. The next episode will be the next nine, and then we'll also do nine for the other courses as well. So, that, so far, that'll be a total of six videos. So this will be episode one, Skyfall Ender Golf. So, this hole is used with the mountains. Now, I'm already going to say it right now. I'm going to do slash seed. This seed has a lot of weird chunk generated structures. They will be flat surfaces, they'll be like, one's 10, 20 blocks higher than the other, it's weird. So yeah, that was the seed. So this is a nice drop, there's a lake over there, and then there's a big sand pit right in front. And these trees are used as a guide to keep you from going off track, because some of the holes are long. A lot longer than this. And there, you get up the mountain. Towards this big bunker. You throw it up top, try to get up there. And voila. I've played it a lot. I'm still not perfect at it. But yeah, so there's really no back down here. So, give you a course details. Give you a course look around what it looks like. There's no back. Between the back, there's a drop right here. So let's go over to hole three. I'll be over at hole three in just a sec. Alrighty, guys. We are over here at hole number three. It is a par three. There is water. All on the bottom, there's a big lake. There's only one over here. Red, white, blue, black. Trees in the back. On the green, there is a bunker to the right, and trees in the back. It's not a hard hole. I've gotten hole under before. Let's see if I can do it again. Come on, baby. A little long into that tree, but yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, so we'll head over to hole four. I don't have to pause it, so I'll go right over to hole four. It's a long par five. That's a nice-looking hole. There's ice biome right over there. There is this right in the front here. There's a nice little lake. You have to shoot over the lake to start. And there is saturated water hazards, as you can see, just flowing all along the lake. So you got to be careful of where you shoot to avoid these water hazards. There's also water coming from that floating little enclave right there. So you have to go to the left of that. 
And then right down here you have a downhill approach at the hole with trees in the back and water. So yeah, I'm going to pause the recording right here and we'll be back with hole 5 in just a sec. Alrighty guys, we're back here with hole 5. It is a long uphill hole. The black tees start at the bottom. The red, white start up here. So right here it goes up this hill. You have to scale. There is no room for air down there, as you can see. And that's why it's made on the extreme hills because it would make it very interesting. And there is snow up here. So you shoot it up and onto that cliff side. And from up here, it's almost a straight shot at it. However, there is a bunker right here. And also a little bit of water over here that some reason got frozen over. It was flowing at one point, but now it's frozen over. So yeah, that is hole number, what, five-ish, I think, five-ish. So let's head over here to hole number six, I think. Yeah, hole number six. This is also a par three. White is over here. Red is down at the bottom. This one, there is no room for a drop. It goes, you have to make it over to that landscape, but it is a downhill shot at it. There is desert over there to the right with water flowing through it and more mountains to the left. So here we take a shot at it. A little long. Shoot it in. Boom. There is a bunker in the front that is almost invisible from the top. So now we go up here to hole number uh, seven-ish, right? Hole you know, number seven. This is a long par five. If also, if you take a look and you go over past these tree lines here, you notice you're back at the starting area. This course does not end back at the start like the other courses. This course was harder to do, so I couldn't do it. I just let it go. So where the heck is that? Over here. Well, this hole is a long par five. It is very difficult as well. As you can see, it goes out straight this way through the desert over this water lake. And there's two sides of a mountain. There's this side, which is the tricky shot, but it's shorter. And there's this side you have to go hook around the mountain. I prefer to hook around the mountain, even though the tricky side it makes it shorter. It can still be very difficult to move forward because it's hard to get over those trees. So now we shoot up here. That's going to be a horrible shot, by the way. Let's just shoot out this way. Over in the trees. Oh, flag. I'm stuck in a tree. Lag. Oh god. Save me. <sighs> okay, now you shoot it up this hill. There is water right here that goes in front of the hole. Like so. Then you have to shoot way up at the hole. To the top of the mountain. And voila. You're here. There's a little thing, but there is no room to go along. There's a bunker to the blah, blah, left. And there's cliffs to the other side. So now we're going to go down here. We're going to look at hole number 8. This is the hardest hole on the course. It will screw you over if you do not take it carefully. If you do not read the book. You're also allowed to go in creative mode and spectate the level before you take your shot. However, once you take your shot, you're not allowed to go. So over to the right, there's not much room. You have to fall in this pathway. The goal is to get up on this mountain. There's water right in front. And your next goal, most people are going to try to go for the flag. However, it is more likely that you should go over here. It's better because... The hole is floating in the air over a lake. And if you miss the hole, you're in bad shape. So now it's very difficult to get it over here and try to land it on that island. But I've done it many times as possible, and I put a tree here to block the hole. Next, you can either take the nice slow way down or just jump off. It doesn't really make a difference. And then throw over here to hole number nine. This will be the last hole of this episode. Hole nine is a par four. Up a hill again. From the white tees, there is this floating island that gets in your way, so you cannot take a high like shot. So, you have to go lower. And you go low, you go over here, you end up in an okay shape. You just gotta scale the mountain to get up. And there is a bunker in the front, if you can see it. that you It's very difficult to reach from your second shot. But your third shot, you want it to go up towards the green. However, there are trees behind the green, there's nothing else. And then there's the snack shop, which I'll address in this episode, and then it's all of this. So last thing I'll do in this episode is the snack bar. Not much in it. There's just cake for your enjoyment. It's a nice little place. Oop, boots, ender pearls, gold apples. There is looking over the snack shop. There is a little bit of water flow. It comes out of the mountain. So yeah, that is the part one of Skyfall Underdog Holes one through nine. Please let me know if you want me to download this map. 
Um, you may want to see the other courses first, but this is just the first few holes of it, and the next few holes I will put in part two. So like this video, comment if you want to see me play these courses legitimately, or you want to see me post it out on the forums. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you back here with the next nine holes in a little bit.